Thank you to my friend Corbin who allowed me to borrow his deck and do a deck tech for it. Thank you so much. Zedru is a very insane deck and I love it. It's got uh, red, white, and blue. You say peace, okay. So um, so it's all about uh, giving and gifting your opponents things. And it's very fun, uh, but it's also very mean and I hate it. But I also love it because it's because it's stupid. Let's, let's get into it. Zedru the Great Hearted, gifts to be given. I want to exchange some stuff with you. I think it'll be fun. Vidalkin Plotter, political trickery and shifting borders. Wanna swap some lands? These do a great job of swapping those around. Maybe we'll trade islands. Uh, but maybe we'll, I'll give you a plans and snag your thespian stage or dark depths. <laughs> Whatever we grab, it'll be fun. Delusions of mediocrity and illusions of grandeur. I like gaining life, but I also like you losing life. How is about I give you one of these guys? I'll gain the life when they enter, and you'll lose the life when they leave. And Illusions of Grandeur is a little, little bit of a bugger to keep out for too long. Delaying Shield. If you would be dealt damage, you put counters on this instead. Sounds nice to me, but you'll also lose that much life on your upkeep if you don't pay the one white. Eh, not so nice, but it was a gift. Thought Lash. Oof. This definitely isn't nice. Exile the top card of your library for this cumulative upkeep. If you don't, you pay the small price if you're removing your entire library from the game. Uh, you can also exile the top card of your library to prevent a hair of damage. It's not all that bad, wink wink. Moderation. Let me just hand this over. I don't want you to do too much. You might hurt yourself. You can draw some cards too, though, and that's nice. Form of the Dragon. I want to help you out. You'll get to do 5 damage to any target with this each upkeep. And non-flyers can't attack you? How wonderful is that? Oh, I, well your life total goes down to 5 at the end of your turn, but eh, semantics. Cinder Giant. I can give you a really nice 5-3 body. How's that? That's a great gift. Uh, it will do 2 damage to all your other creatures on your upkeep, but pff, other than that, swing baby swing. Aggressive Mining. Again, I don't want you getting too big for your own good. You won't be able to play lands, but you can draw lots of cards for the small price of sacrificing your other lands. I told you not to mine too hard. Statecraft. Let's be the intermediary for the group. I'll grant you this enchantment that prevents all combat damage dealt to you. Your creatures will also not be able to deal combat damage, but you brought this upon yourself after all. Gold Knight Castigator, a 4-9 creature with flying and haste? That's pretty great. I'll just hand that over. You'll take twice as much damage, but that's great power toughness on a flyer, am I right? Rust Elemental, here's another flyer for you. You might not be able to use it, and you, you make you sacrifice all your other artifacts before you lose four life every turn, but it's flying in the clouds, and there's always a silver lining in those. Pyromancer's Swath. How about extra damage on your instants and sorceries? That's pretty neat. Oh, and you'll discard your hand every turn. Yeah, there's that. And, you know, in the fine print. Steel Golem. I'm gonna be honest, this one isn't great. You won't be able to play creature spells, and probably no one will block this if they get attacked, so you keep it. Uh, it, it sucks, but, you know, you can get through it, champ. I know you can. More direct gifts. We'll give away more stuff directly rather than with Zedru as a backup plan. Bizarre Trader, Wrong Turn, and Harmless Offering. All right, over here we got Bizarre Trader. All right, wrong turn over there. All right, okay, Harmless Offering for one red. Oh, over there, oh, but only three or less. Here we go. Okay, over there, that, that gentleman there in the red. Hey, uh, you don't have any blue mana. Go away. Hey, uh, you over there. Hey, shut up. Okay, okay, we got Bizarre Trader again. Who wants it? Come on. Come on, we're giving away some free stuff over here. Free stuff, it's probably not gonna be good for you, but it's gonna be fun for me. So, hey, over here, uh, we got Puka's Mischief here, we got Crown of Doom over here. Okay, right here, right here, all right here in the back. Hey, I'm talking to you, hey, hey! Roll Reversal and Puka's Mischief. Wanna swap things for funsies? Here are the two things that help with that. Roll Reversal is direct and Puka's Mischief keeps just happening every turn and everybody just kinda passes it around. Uh, it's basically a swap meet. Crown of Doom. Here's one thing that gets passed around like crazy. Make all creatures bigger when they attack, but only for your opponents. Well, you're doomed. 
a Croan horse. This is exactly what it looks like. The Trojan horse was a massive success. This probably will be too. Each upkeep, the controller's opponents make free soldiers to attack them with. This one is a lot of fun. Take it from me. Huh, you say you want to attack me? How dare you? If you thought you could get back at me for gifting you some lovely things, think again. Ghostly prison, propaganda, windborne muse, and sphere of safety. I don't think you want to attack me. That will hurt your rep. Biting the hand that feeds you? How dare you? Attacking me would be so rude. Island Sanctuary. This one is interesting because you can still can't attack me except by creatures with flying or island walk. I just can't draw a card on my draw step to gain that effect, but that's a, that's a great price to pay. Nine Lives. For this one, I'll let you attack me, put eight counters on this, and then I'll gift it to someone. I'll use all those eight lives and then give you the ninth. How's that? Palatian Accord, and another thing that prevents the damage I would be dealt. Just don't come at me and, and you'll be fine. Oh, it's just a wee bit of protection. Now, with all the gifts I give everyone, I have the feeling that I'll still be in danger. So I'll protect Zedro. Lightning Greaves, Swiftfoot Boots. I bet you you've never seen a goat in shoes before. Zedro will be too stunning to even target. I don't even know if Zedra's actually a goat. It's like some kind of Ibex or something from Africa. I don't know. Fun fact for past me, um, this is this is Zedra, and Zedra is designed after a, an eland, not a goat. Gee, look how ignorant I am. Look, it's like a it's like a goat zebra uh, Ibex thing. Ibex is completely different, but it's an eland. Uh, just so, just so you know, I mean, I I know that, but I don't. You probably didn't know that. Pramacon Sky Rampart. Of course, we don't want anyone swinging above their station, so I'll allow you to attack, but only in a certain direction. Assemble the Legion. Zetru requires an army. Every turn, I'll make a larger and larger one, and it, it'll help later. Trust me. Kazul, Tyrant of the Cliffs. Kazul will help my army as well, unless you pay three for each creature you attack with. With all the gifts I've handed out, I'm sure just someone will pay for this, but yeah, it's probably unlikely. E evasive, aren't we? Can't have any nasty things on the board that I didn't personally hand out. That would be ludicrous. Counterspell, counterflux, and arcane denial. I'll just counter your stuff if you want to get rid of my precious gifts. How dare you try and get rid of my hard work and sacrifice. Tybalt's trickery and chaos warp. Oh, the shenanigans that ensue after these spells. They just spice up the game even more for me. I like having your weird stuff out just as I like having you having my weird stuff out too. Narset's Reversal. I don't want you to have that right now, but I shall now gift this spell to someone else. Imprisoned in the Moon. Eh, don't think I can't handle your massive creature or commander. I'll just turn it into a land. Swords to Plowshares and Return to Dust. Classic exile spells. Well, you kind of know where I'm going with this at this point. Uh, you've seen these before. Generous gift. Look, another gift, and it's got it in the name. Have a 3-3 elephant. It'll cost you a creature, but hey, elephants are very hard to come by. Blasphemous act. I don't like too many creatures out. That's, that's a little bit scary, so I'll just murder all of them. Some sneaky extras. Sneaky, sneaky, Mr. Hobbits. Mandate of Peace. Sneak this into any white deck and you'll be the talk of the town. Your opponents will hate you for at least one turn, and uh, you probably won't take any damage because it ends combat. Idyllic Tutor. Need the perfect gift? This will help find it. Paradox Haze. Let's keep those upkeep triggers on someone a trigger twice. Those enchantments from earlier cannot go to waste. All right, all right, let's win already. Thassa's Oracle. If we mill ourselves out at any point, Thassa's Oracle can help with that. And there's that one from earlier that removes our library from the game, so this can kind of work to our benefit as well. Approach of the Second Sun. I want to win, and I want to do it soon. Say in like seven turns. Insurrection. I've given everyone plenty of gifts at this point, and I'll take your creatures as gifts later in the game to compensate. Transcendence. Okay, all jokes aside for a sec, this is a stupid card. Use Idyllic Tutor to find this and give it to someone early in the game. Boom, dead. They've got more than 20 life, gone. Stupid. I have lost to this. Screw you, Corbin. <laughs> this is a bunch of poopy buttholes. 
but it is kind of fun at the same time. All right, now we're just being mean. Well, Hole Breacher was originally in the deck, but that just got banned as I was writing the script. So I did. So Corbin swapped it for Grid Monitor. Uh, you know, Grid Monitor, you can't cast creatures. Let's just let's just hand that to somebody and you know probably ruin their day. Probably one of those green decks, if you know what I'm saying. War's Toll. You wanted a war, I gave you a war. My assembled legion and I will smash you when you have nothing else left to do. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell button so you don't miss any more episodes on... <laughs> I like that I say any more episodes. Don't, so you don't miss any episodes on Mad for Plus Magic, and I will see you guys next Thursday.